Hello again, Shadow Palace. So this is Abandoned Area 5. I'm supposed to be able to find the guy I was trying to ambush in Abandoned Areas 1 and 2. Which are somewhere. Um, I guess I have to go to that one uh, teleporter? Where was it? It was over here, I think. I think? So I, can't, I can't even seem to scroll there. Maybe it's maybe it counts as a different floor or something. Anyway, ooh, dark chivalry attacking enemy in each row. Have some defense. Yeah, it's the. I should look up whether or not it's different from chivalric sword. Oh, you're right. It affects different people differently. Okay. Come straight time, everybody. It is nice to have one person use magic weapon and then somebody else use. Uh, Enhance, ma enhance magic to prep for actually attacking. So the nice thing about doing this... Oops. I should have that holy light on. The nice thing about kind of floundering around and just exploring and prodding at different locations and not being 100% sure which one to commit to and stuff like that is that the, uh... No matter what I do, I'm making progress. I'm getting... And there's always a chance of new items. Everyone's getting experience. That person almost leveled up just now. It's like, in a weird way, like, no matter what I do, even if I don't know what I'm doing, or I'm still, like, i going somewhere, then turning around and going back and stuff like that, I'm still making progress in the game as long as I don't permanently lose anybody. <laughs> Permanent death is the one way I can lose progress in this game. But aside from that, even when I'm kind of going back and forth like this, it all... It's all in, in service of something, but, uh, some sort of progress. It's just more unfocused and varied forms of grinding. <laughs> Who has the lowest health? You're one of them. I'm basically just using one one mage to, uh, give everyone magic weapon to attack the sprites, and one person to uh, just attack directly. Fight. 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 Defend. <laughs> Someone's gonna kill it. There we go. Give me that level up. Yeah. Hey, a chest. That's nice. My, oh no, my item bag's full. I didn't realize it was full. Damn it, I just walked in here. No. That's such bad news. There's so many random objects in my inventory all the time. Way more consumables than I ever actually use, which is part of the problem. But also, I should have stashed some of the stuff. I don't need these revealing cloths at all. They're garbage items. Wow, that'll fit. Okay. <laughs> okay, sure. Oh, goodness me. Uh, this seems like a mistake. Yeah, item management has always been and will always be one of my least favorite parts of playing an RPG. <laughs> oh, you can't carry any more stuff. Go through this long list and figure out which stuff to put in a chest or drop on the floor. Do you gotta manage all these fucking mana potions? You got you have slightly too many of them. Even though we're already suspending disbelief about the premise that you can even carry as many things at once in the first place, because you can't. But uh, we've created an arbitrary limit to this. Just to make this game slightly more of a pain in the ass. Haha! -ha. I never really got the point of it, really. It always seemed kind of pointless to me. Oopsie. Almost mixed up there with what I was doing. Enhanced magic. I clicked on enhanced magic, right? Yeah. Everyone ruined them. Well, next turn, when it's time to attack again. Ow. Ow. They're not playing very nice, are they? Here we go. Um, you could probably use enhanced magic to help out next turn. This might be, this might still be going on. I'm gonna blast their back row. Wow, we are hitting hard with these melee weapons. That's for sure. Uh, how are they doing on health? Oh, they're doing well enough. How do we do with the ice bolt? That seems like a reasonably high amount of damage, honestly. Uh, you guys are just gonna fight this time, because we probably won't last long enough to, for, for using the next uh, next thing. Ice Blast. Fire Blast. 
the fight probably won't be long enough for Concentrate to actually pull off an attack. Or maybe it will. Never mind. Surprisingly, this, this fight's not over yet. Alright. Well, fight. 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 I think we can just melee them to death now. Got him. Ah, uh, this is going to be an ongoing problem. I don't know why I didn't just turn back immediately. Alright, I'm going to walk on back and deal with this problem, I guess. Here we go. So it's actually a good thing that I had to come to uh, abandon area. Uh, it's a good thing I had to go back to town to deal with inventory, because then I could go to the palace stone from there anyway. And this is abandon area 1 and 2. It's the later area. The numbers are backwards from the entrance. Ooh, spooky. Howdy. Back to the usual. All right. Definitely takes extra effort just to set up the general combat stuff when you're fighting anything that's spirit or undead, because then you have to spend time dealing with uh, <clears throat> casting magic weapon at the beginning and then varying it up over the course. So I, I leveled up my character, added another intelligence to them. Now she has high cast, which lets you use one spell twice for double the energy. So basically, just faster casting, essentially, with no sp no special no special benefit benefit aside from that. No bonus damage, no bonus uh, no bonus like efficiency, just more attacks per turn. She's gonna use magic weapon. He's going to use mag enhanced magic, and we're gonna get ready to ruin some dudes. Keep that iron defense going. Uh, rush. Rush. Fight. You can just defend at this point. You're not going to do anything else. You may have noticed some, dam some uh, high numbers coming out of our warrior just now. I'll show that, show that in a second. Just want to finish that guy off real quick. So what happened is I switched, I switched her to a Morningstar plus 10. It's 174 damage per hit. Or that's her base at least. Uh, no shield. We'll see how that goes. She is much higher level than the other warrior. So I have somewhat more faith in her not getting obliterated. But we'll see. Also that uh, fast travel path was less reliable than I was hoping. It's fine. We'll just take the... We'll go, we'll go to the beginning. Always with the slimes. It takes so much extra effort to fight. Alright, fine. It's fine, it's fine. I probably shouldn't be using too much stuff like that, though, if I'm going to try to ambush. Iron defense. Concentrate. Concentrate. Oops. Magic weapon. Enhance magic. Ow, ow, my face. Maybe a little bit. Maybe just a little bit of it, you know? <laughs> just a little, just for the road. <laughs> you, uh, you should probably help out too. So have you enhanced magic yet? Next, you'll start fire blasting the back row. Uh, yeah, the back row. The front row should be in real big trouble from uh, our melee users this turn. Yep, they're dead. They're very dead. They're very dead and not having a good time. Um. How much longer will they last? I wonder if I wonder if I should just go pure melee to conserve energy. Ah, uh, we might we might have to take one hit. No. Once their numbers are dwindling, the turn by turn damage isn't as scary. It's definitely not quite up there with that poison spam that killed my whole party. Well, two characters back to back for the first time. That was a nasty surprise. Soon I'll have a cleric again. She has like 15 hours. When I came here, she had like 15 hours left, I believe. Hi, guys. So you're slimes. You're guarding a hammer. Social knights. Gonna pass. In an attempt to get that boss to show up. That's not a boss, but that's new. What is that? A sergeant. They're guarding a spear? They are guarding a spear. I haven't seen a spear for a while. I think spears were my standard I, Yeah, my whole party used spears and bows at the beginning of the game, and we, like, never saw them again. Level 30 social knights guarding a spear in a wooden box. It seems like bad loot and potentially a tough fight. And still not the lineage I'm looking for. Ooh. 
What was that? A hat and a silver box. Just gotta fight some Zebubs. Zebubsies. They're usually pretty easy, and I want a silver hat. I'm curious. What if it's like really good? Holy light. Iron defense. Uh, is it worth using gone straight when we're stuck in the front row anyway? Let's just attack. Just dead on. And we thankfully don't have to use any sort of, uh... We'll just use enhanced magic, because we thankfully don't have to deal with any sort of, uh, weapon type stuff. So next turn, that that row of extras is going to be doomed. Well, turns out I should have used, used Concentrate after all, because they put all these guys right up here for me atta to attack. It happens. I'll just... I'll just... I'll let it happen. It's fine. All the melee, all the single target melee attackers will attack the back row. I mean, individual enemies in that row. And we'll fire blast the whole damn row. See how long... See how, how safe the Zebo feels at that point. Yep, that's what I expected. And now we destroy you. And you guys can just hang out. You earned it. I probably should have single targeted the back row character with my uh, with my archer during the previous turn. Let's see, most likely thing is an explosion. Could be a mimic or needle though. It was explosion. And we got some hat stuff. We'll figure out what that hat stuff means later. For now, celebrate. Take me to your ambush position. Technically, I could have ambushed right there just fine because it was gonna cost twenty, I think. But oh well. Five. Nice and cheap. And we're all safe behind a nice, tough tank with over 400 hit points, right? I just noticed the gap between these characters. Our tank has 420, and our, our, our wizard has 152 hit points. There's a gap here. Uh, a helmet and a silver chest. Very tempting, but I'm still trying to get that boss to show up if I can. Come on, show me those lineage chains! That's not lineage chains at all. They're guarding a better chest of spear, but seriously, where's lineage? Oh, that's the music. Oh! It's a big angry slime. Enemy transporter spotted. Found him, the elder. <laughs> it's called the elder slime. <laughs> All right. Just two iron slimes behind it. Could be dangerous. Slimes have elemental attacks that could cause us problems. It's guarding underwear. That underwear is metal as fuck, as it turns out. Uh, immediately with the holy light, absolutely. Uh, I still am not entirely sure if uh, I'm not sure if iron defense is even helpful. I don't know. Dark shiver gives you bonus damage against spirits. That sounds like fun. Let's just go for it. Concentrate, concentrate. Wait. You're going to magic weapon, enhance magic, the usual. All these piercing attacks. How's that back row? Oh, back row's not doing so hot already. Front row's a little tougher. Let's see. Should I... Oops. Should I just X-charge this guy? It's kind of tempting. Bonus attack, bonus avoid. It's kind of tempting. How you feeling, dude? Cyan was taken! No! I specifically prefer him when he's alive! Take it into its body. Oh no. Also, how did he take damage exactly? Anyway. Wow, oh, he's actually pretty low down. Maybe I should just finish him off. There we go. <laughs> X charge. It's actually pretty good. Bonus damage versus, uh. Keep doing those bonus damage att attacks for. Oh. Oh no, Rush is still here. Is that. I don't... My brain broke for a second there. I got to Sion, Sion and I thought that his uh, inven I thought his menu was different sized for some reason. It just took a moment. Uh, just snipe some dudes. You guys can just hang out now. The fight's over. X-Charge is no joke. That 20% damage bonus is pretty good. Uh, got... I'm sorry, I just... I, I, I forget that our, our currency is called blood gems, so I'm like, how do we get 1,200 blood crystals from that boss? So I'm only supposed to drop one. I'm so confused. It's one of those things where you don't look at an interf interface uh, 
element that often, so when you glance at it again and take a slightly closer look at it, you're like, wait, what? <laughs> so we're gonna have to go back to the beginning, if we want to get out of here, now that I've accomplished my primary goal. Oh my goodness. Uh, Sky Dragon. It was, a t it was tempting to run, but I feel like these guys will probably be pretty... Uh, those are 30 pluses. Maybe we can take them, though. Holy Light 2. Iron Defense. Concentrate. Ooh, let's go for that. Let's have you concentrate, too. Let's start doing that nice new fun attack and see how that goes. Uh, enhance Magic. Enhance Magic. We'll see how this goes. There's some high-level enemies here. Ow. 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 Whoa. I didn't like how that felt. <laughs> Iron defense. All right, rushing time. Time to crush that front row. Snipe, penetration attack. Special weapon do doubles damage. Did I ever switch you back to a bow? This is a bad time to be questioning that. <laughs> um, we're gonna team up and fire blast their middle row. The high level characters. They're all taking a hit for their allies, apparently. We'll see how that turns out when it actually go when everyone starts getting hit in the face. Oh, that's a concerning amount of misses. That's a bummer. We're dodging a lot, though. So that's good. Middle rows damaged, back rows unharmed. Okay. Let's go for black wall, because they're definitely going for attacks. And I want to do what I can to help myself not be dead. <laughs> Keep the fire blast going on the middle row. They're the highest level one, so I just want to take them out. It sounds like one of them died. They're trying to avoid our. Uh, they're trying to get rid of our ability to avoid. Yep. High levels are hiding in the back row now. They're trying to get away. Jokes on them. They can't truly escape because my ma my majors can just attack every row. Um. Sky Dragon for hit chance, let's give that a shot. Because we're about to do our chart, our uh, next attack. Uh, Iron Defense. There's the Rush. Is there somebody that's weak in the back row? Not really. Oh wait, you, were, you, you charged up uh, your attack anyway, so we'll snipe. Look at this tough guy up here. Fire Blast. Definitely take out the back row with one of you, at least. We'll go for the middle ro middle row with the other guy. Damage everywhere. So many multi-target attacks. Yay! All right, front rows down, tough rows down. Now it's just these random dudes, and they're not a big deal. As shown by my auto apply, you guys don't even get special attention. Just give me your experience and move on. Hey, you guys are all equidistant and stuff. <laughs> All right, back to dealing with our special defenses. Um, yeah, concentrate, concentrate, concentrate. Magic weapon. Enhance magic. I should probably be swapping by now who does which on, on between those two things, because uh, the person that starts off with enhanced magic is now lower on energy than the other one has, is at this point. Iron defense. Rush. Rush. Sniping time! You're gonna enhance magic while well, you're gonna blow them away. Wow. They're not doing great right now, are they? They're off to a bad start. Only 19 damage, huh? Ooh, look at that guy. He's barely holding on. Just barely. Almost embarrassing. Uh, Dark Chivalry, because of its bonus against uh, Spirits. We're just going to blast them all away if we can. Destroy! There we go. We're clear. He's so agonizingly close to leveling up. Poor low-level characters, Backspacer and Sion. Maybe they'll live long enough to level up one day. Dear lord, we're not... I'm just getting ready to leave because we defeated the bad guy and I'm like, Alright, let's just... Whoa, hang on a second. How did I get on you? Is that was that left bumper? Oh weird. 
You can press the bumpers to switch between the characters. And then hitting B takes you one back to back towards your main character. What even happens if I hit left bumper and switch to backspace or give him a command? Like, well, I'll find out this way. Nope. And um, there we go. Normally, if you hit uh, defend and your last person to turn, the game's like, "Are you sure?" Because it's trying to be careful about the fact that it's gonna go immediately. So I guess you can give them commands in any order, which is interesting because uh, I don't think it affects their turn order. Iron defense. Concentrate. Concentrate. Uh, I get amused, amused by this concept of everyone standing around. Whoa. There we go. I think I some it, it didn't let me reapply uh, Backspacer's turn. Whoops. Concentrate, concentrate, concentrate. Magic weapon. Ah! No, I want to undo... Game, why are you so Why are you so confusing? I think it might have actually become impossible to undefend with him. I guess I could just do it this way. Here we go. Uh, enhance magic. There we go. <laughs> Things got weird. If you hit the bumpers to change turn order, it gets really weird. So my turn was ending on Dark Moon and not letting me go to Backspacer to tell choose what he was going to do because I already chose the other thing. But then it's I don't I don't get it. I don't I don't I don't know why I don't, I don't know why we have the ability to change the order in which we... That, that sounds like it just gets confusing so fast if you hit the bumpers to change command order. Like, it's just gonna go bad so fast of, like, people not knowing what's going on anymore. <laughs> Oop, not defend, no. Uh, you, need, you do enhance magic next, and heat blasts. We're about to run out of energy. I say as we run out of energy at that exact moment. Oh, they're level 30s. Look at them being all defensible. All right. Congrats, guys. Um, you're going to keep defending. You're gonna t we're all going to team up on one dude. And we're just going to hang out with our nice little spellcasters. Well, she's going to attack. But he's going to have to s just sit there now. Wow, didn't even kill one. Got close, but still. Working on it. We'll defend with our spellcasters at this point. It should be over soon, right? Yeah. Gotcha. And backspacer levels. It's a great victory for all. Get that yeah, intelligence up. The 27. Wow, he just learned bio wall. Wow. Yeah, he's level 11. I mean, most of my characters. My uh my, because we didn't die for a long time, my top level characters are like 50% higher level than the characters that were hanging out back at base. At least the people back in base do gain experience and stuff like that, so they're not totally abandoned. This game handles that better than uh, Grand Kingdom does, the other game I've been playing lately that has similar elements of grindiness and large cast of characters that you rotate in and out of a, sm out of a relatively smaller group. Although in this game you get like, in this game you get like 12 or 15 characters and you have a six person party, but in that game you can have like 50 characters, but you have a four person party. So like the grinding is strong in that one, because in that game, if you don't take them into, into missions, they literally do not gain any experience, which is baffling to me because it means you have this massive squad of people you have to individually level up all the time or you'll just never get to use them because the uh like just like this game the uh the enemies keep getting tougher as you continue forward magic weapon actually you should use uh enhanced magic he should use magic weapon because he's not gonna do anything else this fight this fight that game is baffling to me because it has so many characters and they don't gain experience unless you take them into missions ow so at least this weird thing where like you just have this army of characters that you have to individually grind every single one in order to make them useful. Otherwise, you do what I end up doing, which is that I just play with one squad of characters all the time and, and ignore completely ignore the variety of, the, of classes the game has because I would have to in, like if I play six hours into the campaign with one squad of characters, I would then have to play six hours into the campaign with all the other characters to level them up if I wanted to do that. So instead, I just don't and I just play as the same characters all the time. Because it just doesn't seem worth it to grind everyone up individually. 
like we're playing Odin Sphere or something and everyone needs to play, play the same six levels all together in parallel in order to continue forward. There are some... There's, there's JRPGs of all flavors and textures. And man, some of them are smarter than other ones in certain ways and dumber in other ways. Like, this game has some decent design concepts, but a bafflingly bad uh, translation as we've all gone over at this point. And I think one thing missing from this game, I would say, is probably that it could use the ability to program attack types. Like, full party attacks would be nice. Uh, let's see. We need magic weapon. There we go. And you're just gonna hang out. We're running out of energy, so it's a good time to be getting out of here either way. But I think that one thing this game could use is the ability to say, hey, use formation delta or whatever, and then like all of your characters know what attack that is. That'd be nice. Because uh, they, the, they had the forethought to realize that the players have a decent chance of doing the same action over and over again in this game. So they made a point to make it so you could hit Y to uh, auto-apply your previous actions. And be like, oh, like this. They did this in the game. They're smart enough to give me that, app, that option. So what I would like is that what if Y, instead of repeating my previous action, opened up a quick bar of like 10 actions I've programmed into the game of what to do in certain situations. Because then this whole game could just be snapping right along. Because, uh, I don't gain... We got some new items there. Gerba hat, Musha bandana. I think the game doesn't really benefit that much from forcing me to click on stuff manually all the time, just because, at the end of the day, even when there's only a few variations, I am really doing the same actions over and over again. Like, how many times this episode did you watch me put Pangolin in Iron Defense, put the first three characters in Concentrate mode so they could use a Concentrate attack, then use magic weapon and enhance magic with my other characters and like stuff like that like uh, I kind of liked how snappy things were going where I when I was in the slums I would just auto apply my normal attacks patterns against the thieves and then I would and I would just keep reapplying my previous action until some special condition happened that I actually had to think about and that's good because otherwise it, so it sounds like it, like oh why well, you're skipping the game at that point but if I if it's something that I can beat by auto applying that means that you're actually wasting my time by making me actively press all the buttons anyway, because it's just... It is kind of just busy work anyway. So, what messes with my flow is they start en throwing in enemies that are immortal or spirit, which means you have to enhance everybody with magic weapon or spirit weapon? Whatever the other one's called? Mat... Immortal weapon? Uh, sp uh, it doesn't matter. Mat yeah, I think it's magic and spirit weapon. Uh... Like... Being able to be like, oh yeah, use... Use, like, having, being able to program my, my first turn and click on that thing. Like, oh yeah, I click on that button to do my, my, my preparation step where everyone concentrates and the people apply magic weapon, and then I click on that one to do my attack step. Like, that'd be nice. It'd be kind of like the Final Fantasy 13 system where you could, like, pre-program sets of, of forms, because Final Fantasy 13 was all about changing, uh, changing your subclass in the middle of combat. And so being able to, and, and that game had a whole thing where you could pre-program uh, formations where like I want that character to be in heal mode, that character to be in tank mode, that taunts, and that character to be in, to be in ravager attack mode. And you had all these preset things. Having that kind of thing in this game would just make it feel better when I get to places where it's immortals and spirits where it's like, oh, okay, I'm still doing the same thing over and over again, but now I've got to manually enter everything because the first turn is different from the rest of the turns which makes the whole fight kind of more tedious by comparison. And that's kind of that's kind of disappointing. It'd be nice to be able to have a few more features there. And then you could be the the, the freaking uh, the game in the genre that starts revolutionizing elements of it or something. I don't know. Maybe that maybe that stuff's already common in a different game. Uh Gerba hat. What is it? Oops. What's your deal? Better identifying thunder enhancements. A Mystic Hat Gerba knitted for extra cash. It also appears to have nice stats. 14 defense. Probably want to put that on my tank character. Oh, yeah. Is that actually better? Yeah, actually. One more defense, one more avoid. Just makes sense. How's this compare? Current one gives you a bit of hit, but the extra armor could be nice, too. Maybe I'll put it on my... 
my... Oh, you're using a dented pot. Okay, let's fix that real quick. I'm not sure how that one got past me. Musha Bandana. Has no special characteristics. 12, de 12 defense, 2% 2 damage reduction. Okay. Not bad. Ah, uh, let's give you the Mushin Medana, actually. So I can give the... Oh, no. I already have a better Assassin's Mask on this character. I was going to say I can give the hit chance to them. Magical Hat. Two defense. I've got to be able to give you something better than that. Does Magical Hat even help you with something? One spell enhance. I'm not sure if the one spell enhancement, enhancement is worth not having eight defense, though. I don't know. Seems like the extra defense is kind of helpful. To some extent. Either way, hey, lineage down. Which one was that? Shadow Palace. Yeah, we're taking all of them down except for Golden Magic, <clears throat> Golden Magic Knight, which uh, I don't think I want to fight. <laughs> I think I want to avoid that one for a while because it, it's a it's Danger Five. I haven't even fought a four yet, I don't think. So let's not get too ahead of ourselves unless we want to send everyone to this sad little hospital over here where everyone takes an eternity to recover. Are you done yet? You guys done yet over here? Yeah! Alright, so it's time for you, oops, to recover your life point. So we'll see you in another week still. Dear lord, these recovery times. And then you are welcome back into the party! Yay! Add to put. Backspacer. Get out of here. It's time for cleric time. Also, I accidentally left that menu. Here we go. And so the cleric rejoins the party. It's just a double check. Let's make sure our order is definitely correct. Wow. The order that they're in the roster is the order that I want them in the formation. That's actually never... I don't think that's happened before. That's funny. Uh, so we're good to go. Now we have a cleric back in the party. That means we can take down immortals again without having to use special weapons for it and stuff like that. We can take down any type of enemy that our stats can handle. Uh, but... Damn, if there isn't an experience spread here. We have two level 15s and a level 10 side by side. It happens, I guess.